Hi everyone! I'm Athena and I'm the new Franchise Development Coordinator at Driver's Seat. Hi everyone! My name is Alona and I am currently the new Marketing Coordinator here at Driver's Seat. Hi! I'm Alyssa, the new Digital Media Designer at Driver's Seat. My name is Amal and I am the new Office Coordinator at Driver's Seat. I'm currently on my 2B term in Honors Science and Business at the University of Waterloo, but I previously used to be in Science and Aviation. I'm in my second year of the Honors Arts and Business program at the University of Waterloo, and I am majoring in Communication Studies with a double minor in Economics and Digital Arts Communication. I just finished my 2A term at the University of Waterloo in Honors Arts and Business, where I'm majoring in Social Development Studies and working on getting a minor in Digital Arts. I am in the Math and Business double degree program and I have just finished my 3A term at the University of Waterloo. Since I'm currently working remotely, a new situation I had to get adjusted to was having the independence to create my own schedule and projects to work on. One thing that I've struggled with while moving into a remote environment was keeping productive in my personal space. One of my biggest struggles while starting to work at driver's seat is fixing my sleep schedule because I used to wake up at 1 and now I need to wake up at 8. I'm currently working in person. One of my struggles working in person is returning to a fixed schedule. To help myself stay motivated, I make sure my calendar is fully blocked off every day with the tasks and meetings I have, and this helps me know exactly what I need to complete at that time. And to overcome this, I have designated a certain part of my room to just school and work, while the rest of my room is for my personal unwinding and preparation time. And this has ultimately kept me motivated to keep being productive while working from home and keeps me organized on my day to day. Something I do to motivate myself while working remotely is not only go to bed earlier, but I also make sure to remove any distractions that would get in the way of me focusing on my tasks and making sure to work in a quiet and private environment. To overcome this and to motivate myself, I try to create a list of tasks in the morning and prepare notes for the meetings I have throughout the day.